Ladi Po, the man already, Nigeria's very own, the leader of the revival, and a portfolio culture. Can we go? Can we do this? I don't know, I don't know what the hit record is, but yeah, I know I like this vibe. From Lagos Island to Machine Olosha. Them no no, but them go no sir. Them soon see the glow with solar. I'm not the first savage to say it's all over. I cut the cash for all my soldiers. I cut the grass, expose the cobras. Yeah, what? It was like chance. I sort of tripped, fell, and landed in music. You know, I um, I didn't ever see myself doing this because I didn't really think I had that kind of gift. Um, but I had some friends of mine in, in school, in college, and they. They really love music. They used to mess around with it a lot, and you know. They, but one time they brought it to my room. I think we were playing Xbox or some random stuff, and you know, I just heard a track, and I'm like, leave that track with me, and I wrote something to it. Mind you, I've never really ever done something like that before, so it made no sense for me to do it. But to this day, I haven't stopped. So I mean, like, yeah, I fell into music. I think it's evolved. But I won't even say it's evolved, it's like, it's so fluid. It really depends on, it depends on the moment, depends on the track, it depends on the space I'm in. So I'll give you an example. You know, I might, I might hear a song and say, and immediately have the idea and write that down and that's it. Other times, I'm by myself chilling and there's this spark. I have some words in my head, I have a melody in my head. I hit up a producer and I'm like, yo, I want to make this kind of song. This is this is the rough idea. Let's do this. You know, so it really, it really depends. And sometimes I have written verses. Other times I hear the track and I'm like, just record me, and I just go, I just zone in and zone out, I like that. Zone in and zone out, and things, words, ideas flow. So the process really is is fluid. You know, it's not just one thing. If you ask certain producers, they'll be like, Po, Po is long. Um, no, the truth is, it, it really depends on the song. Like um, one of my um, like longtime collaborating producers, Fox, he'll tell you months, right? If I hit up Altims, Altims can tell you days. You know, somebody else will tell you weeks. So it really depends. But on average, I say like <laughs> about to lie on camera. I mean, like a week, maybe a week. I'd say, <laughs> the lies we tell, like a week. The Jai video, to be honest, I think is one of the best videos that has come out this year um, for a number of reasons. You know, we had a good idea and then we captured that idea and then we had a very good team really good team of Nigerians who are committed to the idea and um, what inspired Jaya in itself is the feeling that I remember when I was making it with Johnny Drill you know he was like what was the song about and I'm like it's about the time of our lives and it's funny because it didn't really feel like we we're having the time of our lives then but that's the whole point I feel like at any given moment if you stop to think about it if you stop to realize it you realize that you're living in key, we're living in key times. That's what Jaya is about. It's recognizing that moment and celebrating your wins. The Jaya video captures my city. The city that we hate to love or the city that we love to hate. It shows it, it shows it from another perspective. It shows it from the perspective of the people that are passionate about what they do. I don't know how else to say it. The first line is from Lagos Island to Mushin Olosha. You know, Lagos was one of the central themes of the song because there are so many of us from Nigeria, around Nigeria, that live in Lagos. So, like, it's our, we're connected through that, that city, like, it connects us, you know, and I feel like. <laughs> Everybody knows Lagos is alive, man. So I really wanted to show it. Other people have shown it in their videos, but I wanted to show it from another angle. You know, I wanted to show it from an angle that people don't, don't see. There was one time that somebody said that we're a bunch of lazy youths and lazy Nigerians. You know? That's not the case. Doing what you're passionate about is a big risk. And doing it in a country like this and a city like this is an even bigger risk. 
I wanted to celebrate those people, you know. Jaya is definitely one of them, for sure. Um, yeah, the talk about Pope Project was impactful, especially a song called Voices, but I want to say Jaya because of the message. I think the Jaya message is, you know when Pharrell released the song Happy, it just cuts across every boundary because everybody gets the concept of happy. I feel like Jaya is that kind of song that it doesn't really matter what you're into. It's a good feeling. So maybe Jaya. All I wanna do right now. Um, outside of Nigeria, I really wanna work with Jenny Aiko. The reason why I say Jenny Aiko is because I feel like musically our voices complement one another. I think she's amazing. And yeah. Um, I've always said this before, but you know, in fact, I wouldn't even say about whether it's within Nigeria or not, Burner Boy. I think Burner Boy is one of the, I feel like Burner Boy is like, he's such a true artist, you know, he's a true artist and yeah, he has a, such an undeniable vibe. I feel like if we go into the studio together, it'd be destruction. Going all the way up, are you down? I like the way your body bounce. Body bounce. Daddy Poe in the building, are you down? Are you down? Do you really need to show me? Are you down? Yeah. Going all the way up, are you down? I mean, your definition of anytime soon or my definition of anytime soon is different. So yes, and it's sometime soon. I plan on dropping a project. I feel like projects are necessary for artists to get for you to really know who they are. A single is not enough to get a true feeling of an individual. Do you know. It's not a defining thing being signed. It is who you choose to team up with, who you feel working with will take you to a, an important stage in your career. So the act of being signed is, is not it. It's, it's the people. Um, when it comes to Maven, um, or when it comes to working with the Don, I feel like he is somebody that genuinely embraces different sounds and different vibes um, in people and as much as possible wants you to win doing what you do best so like i think having somebody who's that legendary have that kind of perspective is great you know and working with him is very easy and he's hilarious he's a very very funny guy you know so i like working with jazz it's it's, it's cool i look forward to the next track we do I'm not going to tell you guys my ultimate goal because out here Nigerians like to be sometimes be praying against your goals or things. But I'll tell you how where I see myself. I do see myself as one of the one of the greatest, wanting to be one of the greatest performing artists on my continent. I want to not just be an amazing recording artist, but I want to be a great performing artist because I feel like that's truly where you get to connect with people. Um, much like somebody I really look up to, Kendrick, his performances are amazing and electric. Just that alone, forget the song he's performing, just him on stage alone is it. I want to be on that level for as, a, as an African artist, as a Nigerian artist, as a, you know. I believe genres are necessary. Um, just like any other classification is necessary. It's just not my job to give anything a genre, but if it, my music was in any genre, it would be in something called Lifelines. That's my genre. You go ahead and figure it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, is this about to be another double homicide? Everything you think is dope, nigga. I feel like the Nigerian industry is, is one of the most vibrant industries in the world right now. If there's anything that we need is to continue growing the structure. The, the back end, the stuff that people don't get to see more than anything, that's what we need to grow because then it's like we're really in business. It's, yeah, our creativity is on another level, I think. I think we have one of the most, I think this country is one of the most creative. Just need the structure. 
it's more of that, more structure. Man, there you go again, bro. Always hogging all the shine. This dude stays getting all the dimes. Bet you this glorified hype, man. A lot of rules in this life come with pressure. The CEO of a company is only because that guy's on television every day that people don't see him as a role model. But within that company, he's a role model. You know, it's part of the territory. It comes with it. And a lot of times, it's not nice because people have unfair expectations of these role models, right? And they are only human, but it's part of the job to a certain extent, I think. But Nigerians, we had line crossers out here. We like to cross the line all the time. That's the only problem, it's like, geez. But if not for that, man, I think so. For us, going as far as we can go in our careers is what will give Nigerian the Nigerian industry a positive outlook. It's what will give the average Nigerian a positive outlook when they step into any, you know, space. Before, we used to enter countries or conversations with people and it is going to be the first, when you hear, oh, I'm Nigerian, it's going to be, ah, my, my auntie got an email from the king of Sid the telling her to send her account number. Now it's, oh my God, have you heard that new David O track? Just by doing what we're doing, by reaching the highest level of our craft, we are shining a positive light on our country, on our people, and our passion. So Nigerians, believe us and continue to support the movement, man. Can't do it without you. Throwing it at 45, okay, let me show you, you should come around at 45, meet me at the level where the others are. I think not only is Nigerian music going global, it's the diversity of Nigerian music that I hope continues to go global. You know, right now, there's a focus, a hyper focus on a particular sound that people have termed Afro beats, Afro pop, whatever. My hope is that they get to see even more of the diversity within Nigeria and Africa, right? The people that call themselves alternative that make music that is not necessarily within the mainstream, is on the outskirts of the mainstream, I hope that also goes global. So um, I don't think it's affecting the sound. If anything, let it be, let everything become even more global. It's not a fault that I do. Uh, not just because he's on my label, but Rema, definitely. I think Rema is really dope and it's not, people are seeing what he can do now, but I've seen more before he even came out, so I know that it's a great time for him. I'm really excited about the crop of female artists that are gracing the stage and releasing records. I'm very excited about them because there's so many. Um, obviously, I have people that I've already worked with. I've worked with the Thames who did Mr. Rebel, Luku Luku. I'm really excited about her. Don Lady Donley, you know, Bella Lubo. Um, Dami Onyuru. I should mention names because when I mention names, I get into trouble. Um, Tomi Agape. There's so many female artists, not just within Nigeria, but even that are Nigerian in other continents. And I think that's another thing that's important. The Nigerians that are not even in Nigeria are, are so dope. But I'm really excited about the female artists that are coming out right now, for sure. Piracy is essentially just, you know, is another is another way for stealing, <laughs> but um, I hope that as the music continues to grow, that you know Nigerian audience and the consumers are even more proud, and by being proud, they find ways to actually go buy it. You know, just like how the average Nigerian is a hustler, so whatever it is that they do and they're selling. If I'm interested in it, I'm going to go and buy it from them. So I would like for them to do the same thing with the music that they love. That said, I think also it is on us, uh, the other stakeholders in the industry, to find ways in which that it, to make make it easy for Nigerians to consume the music that they love. You know, and um, that's an ongoing process. So I think it's a two-way thing. But it would really be great if you guys love your music to go and find a platform you can pay for it and buy it. There's nothing wrong with that. You know. Um, Piracy is something that affects other industries as well, not just the music industry. So it'd be nice if it was eradicated. All right, like I said, it's the leader of the revival. And um, they tried to ask me some hard questions, but you know, I'm not a bad man. I answered everything. That's folio culture. It's a wrap.